All right, so today we're on the TB Roth Bethelite track uh, because we have no other better name for it. So Bethelite Road is to the north that everybody passed coming in here. We are sitting at A on your map. So if you travel to the first corner to the west uh, where the other farm road circles around, that is point B. That is also the only ATV accessible point that you can get to the fire lines. So heading west, which would be to the left on the map, that's going to be B. Heading north northwest on a diagonal, that is point C. No. A, B, C. Okay, so we're, we're making a clockwise circle towards D. Okay, if you head east, if you head east from C, this line running straight across the track, which is going to be found just east of our position where we're standing, um, that's D on the northern line. Okay, if, you'll, if you notice on the map, right there getting close to D, there's a lot of little squiggles, a lot of little old roads and stuff like that. That area is kind of wet. So, and I'll talk about fire lines here in a minute. Okay, if you continue east from D, straight along the forest, forest line, the tree line, You'll come out on the power line right away, and that's I. And just below it on the power line right away where you go along the SMZ is H. So I and H are fairly close together. You're going to come around a little weird hook there around Gary Usher's pasture. Um, we're, now we're headed southwest again. Uh, that's going to be point G right here where it turns around the pasture. Okay, and then where the pasture is separated by a tree line, which you can see in the distance right out here. Everybody wants to pick your head up for a minute and look, look out there. That tree, that tree line that you can see uh, should be F. Okay, where F meets the, meets the ditch. Right here. Okay. There's nothing on the fire line to make it significant. The only way you'd be able to find F exactly is if you were on this road right here. Okay, it's where the it's where the gravel and the sand stops and it goes into the into a pasture road. And then coming back to the west, you have point E, which is directly south of D. So let me talk about the conditions of the fire lines. The fire lines were pushed two years ago. They were rebladed last year and they've been bush hogged this year. So there's short grass all the way around the track and they are extremely wet. So there may be places we cannot get the ATV. So being on point and watching with the leaf blower and hand tools and things like that is going to be pretty important today. Uh, if it gets over into the woods, I don't anticipate much of a problem because it's not that dry. But the grasses and the track will burn. Um, but just bear in mind that it may, if the, even if the ATV can get there, it may not be able to get there for a minute and it may get stuck on the way. So if we can not depend on the ATV today, that would be good. So coming in at point B, we're going to get the ATV as far over towards I that we can and we will start lighting from the IH line towards D. So we're going to get that northern line established along the power line right away and along the tree line there. That's going to be pretty much the most important part of the day is getting that line in. And after that we'll decide whether to continue burning. Is everybody together yeah. everybody got their points um, so once we get that in then we can make decisions on where we need to go from there based on fire line condition 
probably when you're lighting and watching, you're probably there's going to be a place on the fire line you're just not going to be able to walk on the fire line. You have to walk on the edge of the fire line because uh, if you walk right over in here, uh, you'll find out real quick how wet the fire lines are. So the objective of today's burn is basically uh, twofold. Number one, this is a, this was planted in longleaf pine last last spring. So they've had a chance to grow for a year, get established, and we're basically trying to remove enough grass and uh, vegetation off of them to give them a chance at growing some more this summer. It should be a very flashy fire, a very fast moving fire. Um, most of the wood out there is pretty damp, so it's not gonna get super, super hot for a long period of time. So if we get to a lighting the line situation and it's just a lot of smoke and stuff, just you know, light slowly and uh, let it back off in there and then make sure we got good patrolling going on. We're on channel one today. If you have a radio that's actually working, uh, try to make sure it stays on channel one. If you're not hearing any traffic or you can't get anybody, check your channel first. And then if you're, uh, we always do, uh, if you can't hear on the radio or you can't transmit on the radio, but you can hear, then you always just start start some clicking and then somebody will finally figure out what's going on and say, okay, are you at point D? Click once for yes, twice for no. So it would sound, you know, if somebody asked me that and my radio is not transmitting, it usually transmit enough to um, open up the squelch. And so are you at point D? No. Okay, are you at point D? Yeah, that's yes. So once for yes, twice for no. And it's always good to remind whoever's radio isn't working how to respond. So, but you have to let, let that key go and then hit it again to get a double click. You can't hit it twice, it's not gonna pick up. Um, the truck is gonna stay at B unless we start having some significant problems uh, up on the northern line and then we'll move the truck on uh, up on Bethelite Road. Uh, but basically, the, I'll go ahead and give you the weather today. Light and variable winds this morning, high in the upper 50s, low 60s. Uh, relative humidities this afternoon are supposed to drop below 20%. So if it is grass or a pine needle, it will burn this afternoon. So once it gets over into shade in the woods, the likelihood that it's gonna burn very fast isn't too high, but just bear in mind that every Every light fuel today, if it is not sitting in water uh, this afternoon, will be available fuel available fuel for fire. So winds are forecasted light and variable this morning, switching to south in the afternoon uh, from about six to 10 miles an hour, possible gusts 18 to 20. So based on what I've seen it do so far this morning, I don't think we're gonna have too bad a problem with the gusty winds. You know they'll probably get an occasional heavy wind blow up on us. Just keep an eye on your line. And if you know that there's a problem area somewhere with a big pile of brush, you know, if we get a big strong gust, we probably need to be going back and checking on that sometime in the next 10 minutes to make sure it didn't blow out. Um, this afternoon is switching to Southwest. Uh, humidity recovery is in the 70s tonight. So by about sundown, trying to get a fire to burn tonight out here is gonna be pretty hard. So. If we, can, if we can make it to six o'clock without having any major problems, we'll be home free at that point. 